Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the first edition of Chad. It stands for Chat and Design, where I chat and design. I'm gonna show you how to design this. Uh, it's just gonna be footage, recorded footage of me designing, and I'm just gonna be talking. It's kind of like a podcast slash uh, design tutorial. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how to teach. And you know how, what they say in film, show, don't tell. I'm just gonna show you because I don't know how to to, to tell you <laughs> so just watch it or if you don't want to watch it you just want to hear me talk just don't even watch it or if you don't even want to hear me talk just mute it so we all win before we get into the design if you enjoy this please like comment subscribe i'm gonna be doing this weekly i'm gonna hold myself to that weekly videos guys doing this at the minimum because i want to be more consistent on youtube so please like comment and subscribe anyways let's just get into it let's just get into the design hello welcome to the first ever chat and design with overset text short for chat chat you guys like that acronym uh definitely not inspired by Elliot's good dime which is his own podcast but with no design so you should check that out but check that out after this one <laughs> but I wanted to do this because I am not very consistent with YouTube uh and I am trying to be I'm trying to just go for it you know and also share my design process because I feel like a lot of you guys want to know my design process. I'm just going to show it to you. These are, this is sped up by 200%. So you could probably slow it down so you could really just steal the, the, <laughs> just steal any of the things that I am doing on here. Because this is what I wanted to see when I was starting out. Like how do people exactly do it? And I am not really the most technically amazing uh, d designer. I think I'm more of a copywriter and just a funny guy. Uh, that is, and that is something I could teach you through my sense of humor in this, in this audio form. So you're getting the, in, the ex entire overset text experience. Okay. And at this point I found this image, just to talk a little bit about the design. Uh, I found this image on raw pixel. So if you saw earlier, that site's called raw pixel. I use it a lot to find public domain images. Honestly, I don't even look at their like stuff because I don't want, they're just a good public domain search engine. I'm using them just for that because they have it all cataloged and it's a lot easier than going on like the Library of Congress's uh, it, uh, site. If you've, if you've been on the Library of Congress site, it's just a hassle to uh, get through any of it. So I use rawpixel.com. Go check it out. Not sponsored, but if they would like to sponsor me, please do because I want money. Uh, but anyways, this photo is by Walter Whittier Freeze, who was a photographer in the early 1900s. I've actually used their photos before with, um, I think I'm going to put it up on screen. I'm going to mark this. I'm going to put up on screen the, the life is good, I think with friends and then the other one was the uh hang in their cat and i really love his photos but he kind of lives like a sad life if you look up his wikipedia article there's been like a couple of articles written about him uh, about how he was kind of like the first meme lol cats like photographer because you know like funny cats has been like a staple of internet culture since like its creation but he was doing it in the 1900s. And honestly, I kind of want to do a full video on him. Because, like, the other things I want to talk about on this channel is not just about graphic design, but just as, like, culture, creativity, like, just art in general and just art commentary, I guess. Uh, but I also know that I need to just be consistent. And that kind of takes time. But maybe I'll do a video on that. But this is just kind of... Uh, a word vomit as you can see here i'm like what i like to do in my work is kind of have like one big headline and the idea for this poster came because it came from the song puppy love by erica jekashir cassier i don't know 
But that song has been on repeat. I was actually listening to the song while I was designing this. <coughs> but uh, so I use this image. It kind of like I, I found the image of like, oh, this symbolizes puppy love, you know, and I kind of like it because it's cute with the with the cat. And usually I like having one big headline and one small headline that kind of like yeah, the big one is pulls you in and then the small text to, you know, give a little little more context about it. Uh, and here I think I'm just like trying to fade stuff in. Like I, you'll see that I'm kind of inspired a lot by Duran. I think he did like a, a tutorial about like fading, fading design. So I was thinking like, oh, maybe this could be a cool shirt, like merch for uh for Erica. So I was like in the concept merch uh mood and he did like a video about that. And I actually will watch a tutorial. I will show you I'm not, I'm showing you guys everything, okay? Like this will be what this is. Like I'm just going to actually got inspired by like Call of Duty commentaries. You guys ever watch those? Like the Call of Duty com uh, See, you can see right here I'm watching. <laughs> I am watching his tutorial right now because I was like, how do I make this grunge brush? Cuz like I was bothered by like how soft the edges are like if you see the design there's like soft edges and it doesn't mesh well with how like grungy it should be like there's no hard uh there's no hard fade i don't know if that makes sense but i just couldn't get rid of the softness and if i did like the normal hard brush it just looked too uh it looked too synthetic so i'm just literally following and watch the watch this tutorial you're watching me watch a YouTube video, which is like the funniest thing. Uh, but here, I'm just following his tutorial for uh, to fade it out. So, and I've been bothered by that for like literally a year. And this is the, I it was only at this point where I realized like, oh, this is what I need to do. I need to have a grunge brush so it'll fade in better. So here's me just following Duran's tutorial. I'm gonna link that in below or somewhere in the corner, but. <laughs> I'm just literally just following that. <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot where I was, but yeah, I guess I'm just going to comment on this. But I'm going to answer some questions later on while I just kind of move shit around. Guys, most of my design is moving stuff around, okay? And here I am figuring out the brush size, uh, which is pretty cool. So... Yeah, so the process at this point, I think I'm just trying to uh, figure this brush thing out. So while I'm figuring that out, I'm going to answer one question from Instagram. Uh, maybe this will be a recurring segment. I always want to I think I want to answer a questions each time I do this, this every week. So maybe I'll put it up on my Instagram every week. And be like, guys, give me questions for Chad. Okay. Uh, well, first question, not even a question by... Norakum78 just says hi and I say hi back to you Norakum uh well do not see asks what do you think about cats uh I like cats well you see that there's a cat in this design it's because I love I do love cats and I love dogs I don't really know if I'm a, I think I'm more of a dog person honestly but I love cats I love me some cats um uh, and honestly, I would probably like once I live on my own, I'll probably will have a cat and dog. Like once I'm like ideally, sorry, I'm just a Gemini. I love a cat and a dog. And mostly, honestly, when I'm looking at this design right now, I'm more of the dog. And I'm just looking. Okay, <laughs> I'm just listening for some the p word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking on this video. Okay, now we're cooking, but. Here you can see that I finally figured out how to fade it in. Okay, I'm like, oh, this looks fucking sick. This looks sick. And I'm having a ton of fun. At this point in the design, I was literally like, I think I was thinking this might be a shirt or something. But I think eventually I will decide that I'm going to make it into a poster. And look at, yeah, see, I'm listening to it. I'm listening. You can see me pull up Spotify. Uh, but you can see like my personality in these designs. Like I'm the dog. Who's my who's my cat? You know I'm saying, loathing boy asks how to stay consistent. Well, that is hard to to answer because I am trying to do that right now. I think 
the biggest thing about consistency is the 365. It made me so consistent because I had a deadline. So now, and like that got me better to be, it got me better at design. And this is my attempt of holding myself accountable for the, uh, for making videos because I do want to make videos. And I think if I just keep spending time in Premiere Pro like I am doing right now, I will be inspired to do more designs because the only way you could actually become what you want to be is actually doing the steps to whatever it is you want to be. Like if I want to be a YouTuber, I need to make YouTube videos despite how bad I think they are or despite how it is not the work I want to be doing right now. But I, I think I've been thinking too selfishly with that where I'm like, I just want to make stuff that I think is good. But in reality, I kind of want to also help you guys out because I'm like, I don't want to do tutorials. But this is the compromise. I've always compromised in my, no, I'm not always compromised where I'm like, with my posters, I knew what would hit was like relatable stuff, right? But also like, I want to have fun in my own way. And usually sometimes I try to hit the Venn diagram of that just to survive in this internet world. And I've just been really resistant in uh, playing the YouTube game. And I'm trying to figure it out how I want to do it, which is probably this. Because this this is reminiscent of like, like I think I said this earlier, with YouTube Call of Duty commentaries. That is the inspiration for this series. Like, wait, people literally would just play Call of Duty and talk over it. And I think you could still do that. I know the meta of YouTube is different. But if I don't know, like, I, I think you guys come here for me, right? <laughs> I think you guys come here for me and my design. So maybe, maybe that'll shine through. Anyways, I'm just trying stuff. I think the, the thing is, I need to try stuff. And to be consistent, you just need to set a deadline. I'm setting a deadline for myself that this will be out every Friday. So that's me being holding myself accountable also you can see here that i'm playing around with neural filters uh to colorize it but it, it's not working at all during this process i was like it looks i couldn't figure out why why does it look shit like i've used it before but it looked so bad before or it looked good before but in this one photo it just looked bad so i'm like all right i think i abandoned that idea so you, i think what i like to show in this too is like that I don't like showing different versions. Like, I forget to save. So, there's some ideas in here that are good. Like, look at this. Like, there's, like, this weird color right here. Like, I like there is some ideas that you find through the design process. Like, like right here. Like, I was like, oh, this looks cool. And I'm like, but not cool enough for this design. I feel like for a different design, this would work. But I think I just did that by, like, having the color overlay. Like, I separated. Yeah, look at it. Like, that looks cool, right? That could be its own version. But I decided not to because I was like, nah, that kind of looks dumb. Um, anyways, loading boy, that's don't know if that I answered that. Be consistent. It's just like I, it's in your blood to want to do art, you know. But also, you need to do it. Also, sorry, I'm saying also a lot. But truthless is starting a challenge. I think you guys should check that out. I think we're all gonna participate. I think I'm going to participate in some fashion. I'm already doing this kind of, but maybe chat and design will have, because I, I think the idea is that you want to make a video or of your, your choice of medium, but the topic changes, but the topic has to start with the letter of the alphabet. So A, B, C, D, blah, blah, blah. So that's weekly. But maybe I'll do a chat and design and the design that we do will be based off like an A or something. Like maybe the first week I'll design something using an apple. And then so I'll have some structure. I think structure is very important. Uh, but check out Truthless. Check out the Alphabet Superset. I think that's what it's called. I just want to shout out a lot of other creators in this too. Uh, my Clay Designs ask... How did you happen to find your design style? What is your inspiration? Well, I'm I'm inspired by 80s, 70s design, but this one actually I'm just I, I'm 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 a little bit uh, inspired by Piper Ferrari, uh, Caroline Car Caroline Diedel, uh, and Duran, and also uh, to Toasted by Eli. I'm like sorry, my bad. Like wait, what's his name? <laughs> toasted by Eli, and all these are happening to be my friends, but. 
I think you can see their influence on this. Somebody did say Piper Core on the on the comments. I'm like, I, I didn't really take offense, but I'm like, I mean, true, actually, it is Piper Core in some ways. But I don't really use thresholded images that often, actually. I was just like, I think throughout my 365, I did a bunch of these, but then I kind of just went to just regular, regular, regular photos. I really want to figure out how to make thresholded type images, but with color. Also here, you can see me going on Instagram because I'm like trying not to wait. Oh my God. There's like, <laughs> I've got DMs on here. Maybe I should take out this part. Maybe I won't. It was just, <laughs> I need to remember that. Am I recording DMs in this? <laughs> I might cut that out. Uh, I, might, I might blur it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, I just looked at like 80s, 70s editorial. I like vintage stuff. Uh, also, I think a huge part of my design language is informed by my news, my background as a newspaper designer. Like I used to design for my uh, school newspaper at Fresno City College. I was the layout editor. So I love a big headline. I love a big image. You know, that really pulls in the the viewer with the big image, big headline, then you draw them into the small text. So, oh damn, look at that, look at that texture on the, the fade right there. So that really be, it's so, okay, also here, okay. Alert, 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 alert. Make sure to, I'm giving you some sauce right now. This is a, a technique that I discovered, discovered within myself, because I was, I always tried to find a way to make the edges of text look really good. And I was trying to figure it out. Like, I was trying to figure out how to make it look like the, the image. Like, I needed that the crunchy texture outside of it. And as you will see here, this is where I find it. And this, I'm giving this to you for free, okay? I'm telling you guys on some, I'm putting you guys on some game, okay? Watch this closely, okay? Like I would have killed to to know this like two years ago. Also here I'm just playing around with the layout. I was like, what if it looked like it was like a block print? So that's that was the thought process behind this version of it. And I was trying to figure out where to put the puppy love. I'm like, I tried to make it white. It just didn't pop out enough. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm just this is a this is a version. This is an idea. This is an idea, but it just didn't work with this one. Although it might have worked with my with the final version because like. The problem with that one right there is the, the, the background just felt too, it just was not, you know, black enough, dark enough. So, yeah, you can see me play around. You got to play around. I feel like playing around with the design is part of the fun, you know, like, whoa, what, where's the possibilities? And I was trying to like, oh, what if I do this? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is me trying to figure out like, what if I brush around it? And it'll give the illusion of a grunge edge on the, on the letters. See, like you see the idea, you see the idea, right? You see the vision, but it didn't work out. Sometimes things don't work out, and that's fine. Designed by Alyssa says, "In this economy, real." And I, I will say real to that. I will say real. I say real too much. Like I've been saying real to a lot of things. Like yeah, real. I, uh, my comment, my comment reply back is just real. I, I don't know what else to say to comments or compliments. Just like real. That's real. Catching lizards ask, what the thing do? You know, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I don't know what the thing do. What do my thing do? Uh, I'll figure that out. I'll get back to you on that. Uh... Victor, I can't say his name. Victor Mit Mitz Q. How come you are not nominated for awards yet? Your posters are so good. Thank you. Somebody finally recognizes that my designs are award winning. Actually, no, I have won awards for my newspaper design. Uh, so I have won. And I, was I wasn't even that good back then. Like, there was some rough designs. Maybe I'll do a video talking about my past designs. You know, I think I, think I need to do that. <laughs> But maybe there should be awards. I feel like a lot of the awards are like very proper design heavy. Like, <laughs> and I don't like giving awards to design. You know, no, we're all winners. You know, this is the real win is us making what we love. 
and survive. That is the real win. Uh, so I don't, it's not really a competition and I think it's hard, but I do appreciate you saying that I deserve an award. I do deserve an award. All that said, all saying, oh, awards are real. Uh, I do think awards, I should get an award for being the most handsomest designer. <laughs> Anyways, this, this is actually pretty fun, guys. I'm having fun. You having fun? Are you having fun? seeing my design while i talk i actually love it see i didn't want to do this live because when i'm designing like the when i was doing this live i shut up like i do not have time to talk and design at the same time i have can only focus on one thing at a time and usually but and the problem is my, that one thing changes often uh so uh, it's hard it's hard anyways next question I'm not sure I'll, my, Mr. Kyle Matz asks, I'm not sure I'll ever hit the, I'm definitely an adult phase of life. Do you think you have or will? Well, Mr. Kyle Matz, that is a good question. Because I am 29 years old, guys. I want to make sure, I want to, I love saying I'm 29 and also hate saying I'm 29. Because I want you all youngins out there, 20, sub 25. After 25, I have nothing to, t to say to you guys. <laughs> We're in the same boat. No, but any anyone younger than me, you don't need to worry. What am I doing on Instagram? Get off Instagram. I'm sorry. I'm watching this live as well as you are. Like, what am I doing? I'm watching myself get distracted. Anyways, you need not worry about being an adult. Nobody knows how to be an adult. I feel like when you're at that age, you're like so pressured to figure it out. I'm telling you now, you're not going to figure it out. Maybe you will. And that's, but most of us, it's hard. Like, you won't figure it out. And that's okay. And honestly, that's fun. Because I've done so many things before over set text. And all of it came back in some way to help me out with where I am today. Uh, you just need to know, like, actually, you don't need to know the destination. I was going to say, you just need to know the destination. But actually, my my only destination, guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna be real. I've always known that I was gonna be a like niche internet micro celebrity. In my head, I knew that I was gonna do this, but I didn't know how. I just didn't know how. I didn't know. I did not set out to be like a design my niche internet micro celebrity. Uh, but I hope to be one. But then I just kind of did the design. I I didn't start the three six five because I had that in mind. I just did that because it was fun and it worked out. Uh, I think you just need to have a destination of where you want and it will manifest. The universe will figure out. You, you just need to know where or some vicinity of where, like where you want to end up. And uh, the how will it take care of itself. Also, I use like Gen AI to like make this look like chalk or something. It did not work out. So it did not work out. Also, I've just been using Photoshop beta. Maybe I'll talk about Gen AI later, but I might have some hot takes about that. <laughs> I need to formulate my thoughts about that. Uh, but I'd be using it sometimes. I'd be using it. Like the, the the rent control one had Gen AI in there. So I don't know. Hot take. Hot take. Uh, AI might be good. It does speed up my process a little bit. because I would. Uh, it's either I look on uh, Raw Pixel for two hours... Half of this video would have just... What am I doing in Illustrator? Sorry, I'm like... <laughs> I forgot out what I did. Like, I just pressed record on, OB, on OBS. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to let this record. Oh, I think I was trying to... here. I'm going to show you... I think there's a version here where... Another way to get the crunchy text... Is to go into Illustrator... And then do effects, roughen... And then just like lower it so much, like lower it to make it's not too fucked up. Uh, so yeah, so you could do that too. But I decided it looked not as good. I was I I was convinced I could figure it out this time, but I will figure it out later on the free game, the free game. Uh, what are they saying? Yeah, are you ever gonna feel like an adult? I don't think you'll ever feel like an adult. I don't feel like an adult. Uh, I don't think we ever will. Uh, which actually makes thinking about what your parents did uh, so uh, scary. Of like, what? Like, you guys have, like, my dad left 
the Philip, and he loves to tell me this. He actually told me this recently. Like, well, I was 20, 22. I was uh, already in uh, Saudi Arabia working. I'm like, and also already had you. I'm like, well, first of all, rent was cheaper back then. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Like, by the time I was 29, I was in America. I'm uh, like, okay. Well, you're 20. When you were 29, uh, you got to America from the Philippines. Well, I was 29. I had a lot of victory royales in Fortnite. Okay, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> but that's what I'm telling you. Like, it's hard to. What does a being an adult even mean? Right? Like, what does that even mean? Like, almost half of U.S. adults right now live with their parents. Like, U.S. adults being over 18, I think. So I'm like, what, what does it even mean? Like, okay, here I'm trying to figure out how to get that crunchy thing. And this is where I figured it out. This is where I had a eureka moment. I was like, what the hell is this filter? What is this filter? I was so amazed. I think it's like the Ripple or Ocean. I didn't know about this. Why did nobody say anything about this? So I was like, oh, this looks good. And it's under the Photoshop filters in Illustrator. And I'm like, oh, wait, I can just do this in Photoshop. So I think I quit. I, will, I was like, oh, whoa, look at this. This looks sick. Uh, and I was trying to rasterize it. But I was like, oh, I guess you can't rasterize. You can't vectorize the uh, Photoshop uh, filters. If somebody knows, please tell me. So I could use use Illustrator more. <laughs> but I was like, you know, I give up. I don't know how to make this vector. So I'm just going to do it in Photoshop. And I was trying to figure it out. I was like, wait, how do I... I convert puppy love to smart object right here. And then what the, the thing is, what I realized is like, why isn't it working? I was putting the filters on there. Like, why isn't it made crunchy? Here's the trick, guys. You have to put a white layer beneath it. Okay. You have to put a white layer beneath the text, and then uh, the filters will work. The filters will work, and you will get the crunchy, uh, the crunchy texture on the on the edges. Uh, you will see how I figure it out. Just 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 watch. And so that's how I did it. Which is like I think I put ocean ripple ripple and uh, strokes or whatever just to make it. You could really randomize it. So, like, oh, this looks so... Like, look at this. Are you seeing this, guys? I'm putting you guys on some game. This is... Like, I am amazed how much, how good it looks. I was like, oh, gives that, like, grungy... Grungy... And then it'll even be better once you, like, put a mask on it. And then, like, mask it out with your brush. And, like, give the edges a little bit more printed look. So, this is how you could do this, okay? You might need to expand the border of the smart object a little bit because sometimes it bleeds out and it like cuts it when you go back to your original canvas. So make sure to expand it. You can see that it looks cut off on that Y. Oh, on the E especially. I was like, wait, wait a second. I have to like expand that. Anyways. Yeah, you just watch the process. You know, this is why I do the this broadcast or this design cast. Don't know what I'm calling it. The chat is that you can just watch it. I don't need to tell you. You could slow it down. What like there's a slow down button on YouTube. You you do it. Honestly, this is what I used to do. I used to lurk people's like I used to lurk Elliot's stream and see how he did things, and like just watch it. And I'm just giving that to you guys because it's, it's someone out there who watch this video and be inspired to make something, and then they will become the next Overset Techs. You know they they they'll they, they'll start their own career. And then, yeah, that's cool. I love that. I love that. Uh, anyway, I don't know if I answered Mr. Kyle Matz's uh, question. The, que the, the, the answer, to the, the short question, the short answer to that question is, uh, no, we will never feel like adults and we will never will. Maybe I will, maybe when I'm like 60, but I think that adult, the concept of an adult is fake. Uh, despite how many grown up responsibilities you have. And like I've I've done my sales tax. Does that make me an adult? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know I need to leave this. I think it's very Filipino to be almost thirty and be in their parents' house. So I'm like, yeah, I should probably leave, <laughs> guys. I need. Uh, please buy a print from OversetTax.com so I can afford to to get out of this place. 
<laughs> uh, w- hello, Vani. Oh, hello, Vani asks, what did you want to be when you were a little ram? Good question. All these are great questions. But also check out Vani. I'm going to hopefully I remember to link everybody in this. She's a uh, she's a great artist. Uh, you can check them out. Actually, let me see. What's, is it, what's Vani's pronouns? How do I make this right? Before I plug them. But what did I want to be? Yeah, she. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go to go to her Instagram. Oh, hello, Vani. She's a great artist. Uh, check them out. But anyways, what did I want? Actually, I wanted to be a geologist. I wanted to be a geologist when I was a child because I had this encyclopedia set and I found the rock section and I thought it was so cool, like sedimentary, metamorphic and igneous. Is that the other one? I just love how rocks could change. You know, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah okay. So you guys see this? You guys see the texture on the letters? Sorry, I'm like getting distracted. That looks good, right? Doesn't that look good? I was like, ooh. So I just did that to every piece of text. Uh, make sure to have the live text on a different layer and not just rasterize all of them because then when you want to change it, it just makes it a hassle. Anyways, I wanted to be a geologist. I wanted to be a geologist because uh, I had this encyclopedia and I was reading it. I miss that encyclopedia set because like that, I would just be looking up stuff on the encyclopedia set. And you know what's funny? Funny story is that <laughs> I think I was like eight or nine when that was happening. And I was like just finding out about sex. And I tried to find sex in the encyclopedia. They didn't have it. Or I swear that I think I, I could not find what it was about. Or like there was no, I think it just had like, I don't even think they had sexual reproduction in the encyclopedia set. Like nothing about that. So I was like, what? I just didn't know about it until way later. I'm like, what is this? This is kind of like interesting, like your development as like a child, like being conscious of adult themes. I guess thinking about talking about being an adult, like that adult themes, like sex is kind of an adult theme, but like does having sex make you an adult? Uh, I don't know. Also, this, this is where I make the uh, shirt version of this. Uh, you can see that this is the poster. I'm like, all right, I got to adapt this into a shirt. So I make, cause I want to, I kind of want to make shirts. So I'm like, also I'm using that grunge brush as to like fade out, you know, you saw those little corners right there. Is that cool? But yeah, encyclopedia, great thing. Now we, people have Wikipedia, but back in my day, we had to have a book and it had limited stuff in it. It was from A to Z. And I miss it so much because I used to just look up stuff. And now I, I don't even do that. Um, the curios, curios, uh, curiosity died. Uh, what else am I talking about? So, oh yeah, next question. I'll do another question. Well, another question is... Pork Design asks, two six inches or one foot long on subway? You know what they? You know they've said that the foot long doesn't actually equate a foot long at Subway, and I think they don't even call it a foot long anymore. Or do they? I feel like they got sued for saying like, "Oh, it's not a foot long." And I'm like, "Yeah, I don't want to." I think it's a bad deal to buy the foot long. Maybe you should buy two six six inches. But I haven't been to Subway. You know, so, you know, the thing about Subway is, you know that that shit has so much sugar in it because like their bread is basically cake. And the thing about Subway is also, no matter what you put on it, other than the meatball marinara, I feel like whatever you put on it, it will taste the same. Like, there's something about Subway where like, yeah, it'll just taste the same. I think the same thing with Chipotle too. It's just uh, Chipotle kind of tastes all the same, no matter what you put on it. And I'm like, yeah, but like sometimes I want Chipotle, you know. I want to eat Chipotle. And I don't need somebody being in my ear saying like, oh, Chipotle is so ass. Like, it's not even real Mexican food. I'm like, no, no shit. I know that. Like, I am not going to Chipotle for Mexican food. Uh, also, I feel like we're close to the end of this design. I think there, all, there is actually... Uh, 
a part where I forgot to put in here. The f- the one thing I forgot, I didn't record this because I did it after I thought I wanted to stop recording because I thought I was done. Uh, I dodged and burned certain images of the thresholded uh, image. So that's how you could, maybe I'll do that. I'll, I'll Maybe I'll record uh, another part where I show you how to do that because the background at the final piece is not this. I don't know if I, have, if I have it recorded, but we're nearing the end of this. And it was only 38 minutes. Wow. This was like two hours worth of footage. But maybe uh, the longer ones will be longer. Oh, well, that's just, what am I even saying? <laughs> I think I have dyslexia. <laughs> like sometimes I'd be mixing up words. I'm like, uh, I think the years of drinking Coke Zero have rotted my brain. Uh, I knew I was have to. I was gonna have to pay somehow by drinking all those Coke Zeros throughout like the ten years I've been drinking it. I'm like, it's uh, the chickens have come to roost to destroy my brain. And here it is, my classic signature, always the last part. I, you know what, the the, the three six five ended. And I've made pieces between this and the other one, but you know what? I'm gonna start numbering them in it again because I love numbering things. I just, I it keeps it neat and orderly and gives a consistent thing throughout all my posters. And this is widely copied, by the way. Like I wanna, I wanna get, I wanna, again. I keep just saying this, but I wanna reiterate. I take, I take credit for that signature style. So here I am, uh, just getting my as. Uh, Azizov. <laughs> Andre Azizov textures. I put that in there. Very simple. I just put it on screen. Okay, guys. Let's put it on screen and multiply. Which one of those? This is this is on multiply. The lighter one, multiply. The darker one, screen. And I just edit them with... It's really... I do minimal texturing. Honestly, I don't even like texturing anymore. Like I feel like it just needs a little bit of grain or whatever. Just to give it a little... A juj, A little juj. And then, uh, you know, that's how it, I don't really like folds anymore, but here I'm, I'm, yeah, I experimenting with other stuff, but I also, sometimes when I sell stuff, I don't like having the text textures printed on it cause it just kind of looks stupid. So I make sure that it works without the texture, uh, except for that. I put the photocopy texture on there, uh, just cause I was like, oh, this actually looks pretty good with it. So. But yeah, I, I just changed the sa- saturation. You can see all the filters right there. Well, here is the final design. The only thing I did not record is making the background darker. And I basically did that by dodging and burning. There's the dodge tool uh, that you could just, that I think is burning to darken it. And then you just, I just darkened all the edges. And I used the the same brush for the, with the, uh, the grunge brush that I made with Durant's tutorial. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. And then I kind of just faded it a bit more for the shirt version uh, with the, the same grunge brush. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for tuning into the first chat and design. I will see you next week with a new design. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And hope you were informed and enjoyed by my my commentary about design and such things and other things. Uh, All right, I'll see you guys later.